Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a really fun video that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It is recreating an outfit, but it's not necessarily recreating, it's kind of imagining an outfit that a character would wear in one of my favorite movies, Earth Girls Are Easy. This movie is so good, like I love it so much. It's basically like a cult classic. It has amazing costumes, it's hilarious. I think it's so funny and it has some really good looking people in it and it has some big stars like Jim Carrey's in it. Wow! Which one is that? It's so back when he was like a nobody and Jeff Goldblum so. Check it out if you guys haven't watched it. It's basically about like this nail tech and aliens land in her backyard and <laughs> just like crazy stuff like that. Shut Valerie! Those are aliens! I but it has so much good fashion, but you know I love 80s fashion. So I thought, why don't I recreate something that the character would wear? I kind of like this idea of making an outfit so I'm designing my own stuff but something that the character might wear too. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I found this fabric from the my favorite place to go. <laughs> True More Discount Fabric um, in Chelsea and it's this great fabric shop and I can get silks for like five dollars and they're just so so nice there. Most of the things I make are from that shop so if you can I would check it out but call first because of COVID like I don't know exactly the hours um to make sure that they're open um so I got this material there it was, there was a big bolt of it and I hope I can have enough to make some accessories and stuff like that so I didn't use a pattern for this I just took measurements off myself um so I could make a really like simple dress because it's only going to be two pieces and then I just patterned it based off those measurements of my hips, waist, and bust. So what I did was I laid out the fabric and I just pinned according to that diagram that I showed you before. Just pinned like where the where I should cut it because it's gonna be a two piece garment. It's gonna be the same pieces. So front piece and back piece that are exactly the same. And also what I did was I it was four pieces total because I want the lining to be the same fabric as well and have a double fabric, double lined piece basically because this fabric is very thin and if you're not wearing the right undergarments, you chose everything, but if you line it with the same material and use that as the lining basically, then it looks really nice and you can't really see like any undergarments or anything like that. So that's what I did and a trick that I did was when I cut the one side I just flipped it over on the middle line where it goes straight down and then I was able to cut it on the other side so it's perfectly symmetrical so it just kind of saves you some time and makes it so you don't you're not worried that it's not going to be the exact same thing on the other side so I pinned the dress together one back side one front piece to see if I had the the, the shape that looked the best and it looks pretty good everywhere but the bust is too big like I did the measurement wrong or something it's a little too big so I will have to cut down on that part but the hips look good the waist looks good and everything like that so I think it looks pretty good so far I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that extra fabric from the sides off now that I cut it down to the right size, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew the pieces together and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. And these are the settings that I used for the zigzag stitch because it is a stretch material so you have to do a zigzag stitch. If you do a, just a regular straight stitch, it's going to break and it's going to, you know, rip basically. So here's the finished zigzag stitch. So here is the dress. It looks pretty good. It fits pretty well. I was going to do this ruched effect, but I actually didn't end up doing that because I didn't make the dress long enough, and I thought I kind of liked it without the ruched effect. Maybe the next one I do. 
it will look better with the ruched thing, but we'll see. And then, like, on the sides, it's a little too much fabric on the sides, but I kind of thought of the idea maybe I'll roll up the sides of the armpit area and make it kind of like a rolled up effect that looks kind of 80s. And that is what I did with the sleeves. I just rolled up the ends to make this cool sort of 80s look. I've seen that on some 80s shirts and stuff like that. And then I just hand stitched with a tiny whip stitch it on the garment. So then it finishes off the edges. And because I have two layers in there, I have the one layer of the outer one and then I have the other layer of the lining facing outward. That's why you don't see like a the the wrong side of the fabric basically so I guess I didn't really show me putting it into the garment but there's another garment inside I don't know I hope that makes sense and then here is the finished stitch it looks pretty good I like it just a whip stitch and then the other side you can't see anything and then I made some bias tape because I wanted to finish off that top that uh, neckline and you just basically cut on the diagonal of the fabric and you iron this and I have a really nice iron so everything looks really good when I iron it I would suggest getting a, a nice iron something you should really invest in and I'm just ironing out the uh, sides of the sleeves as well sleeve holes so now it looks nice and professional it just looks way more professional when you're able to do that and I pinned the bias tape on the neckline and what you do is you sew on the one side with the sewing machine, and then you fold it over, and then you do a whip stitch on the other side. So here's the, the wrong side of the fabric that I whip stitched. And here is the completed dress. I think it looks really cute, and I made this little cute bag to match. It looks pretty 80s, and I think she would have worn this in the movie if there would have been extended scenes. And I modeled the little bag off of a Regency era. Uh, reticule, I think that's how you pronounce it. And of course, I had to get my nails to match the fabric and the, the bag and everything because she is a nail tech in the movie. So I just thought it would be fun to get them to match it. I bought the fabric into the nail shop and I showed them the um, fabric because so they're really excited about it. I went to this Japanese nail salon um, where they do like hand painted gel. So I'll put in the description where I went, but it was really fun and cool, so. What did you think? Like, do you think this character would wear this? What do you think of the comments? Let me know. Um, I think she would have, but, and maybe what is she wearing in uh, space? Um, and do you guys love this movie? Is it one of your favorites? It certainly is one of mine. And thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting me on this channel. I really, really appreciate it. I'm really trying to like grow and make it into like a real business and stuff like that. And like try to be like make put a video out every single week that's like higher quality. I'm trying to get better at my editing for you guys, so um, thank you so much. Alright, see you guys next time.